Hello and uh, good morning. My name is Sanka Eichhorn. Uh, I'm the crawler crane trainer and crawler crane specialist for our company, Tadano in Zweibrück in Germany. And I'm Alan Cotto. I'm the product manager for Lattice Boom Crawler Cranes for Tadano Pan America. Sanka and I would like to invite you to come along with us as we tour the new CC78 and show you the benefits and features of this great crane. The CC78 is a replacement for the CC68 in a class of its own, redefined, with an increased load moment to 17,900 newton meters. Now we are uh, on the superstructure, and what we can see here is our new uh, arrangement of the counterweights. That means we are doing double stacks. That keeps the counterweight lower, so it's more safe. And here we see the safety chains. They are holding the counterweights together for safety. The total counterweight is 290 tons. Of course, every crawler crane needs its uh, ropes. So we, I will start here to explain. This winch here is what we call the Einziehwerk or the deregging gear, what makes the connection between the superstructure and the A-frame. Then you see here uh, our main hoists, hoist number one and hoist number two for our double hook block. Let's talk about our new space cabin and redundancy. This is the white cabin with two seats, the normal operator seat and the jump seat. We have a double IC1 computer system, intelligent control system, very high advanced, very sophisticated. And every crawler crane comes with two remote controls for assembling the machine, of course, wireless. The way in which we increased the load moment from the CC68 to the CC78, you'll notice, um, taking a look at the crane from the front, that uh, the superstructure, the bearing, the car body are now a three and a half meter width instead of three meter width. That way we also were able to widen the standard boom on the crane to three and a half meters from three meters. So Sanka, here we are by the, the crawler frames of the new CC78. They are different from the CC68. Uh, as a matter of fact, the, the heaviest transport load we have on the crane at 65 tons. Um, what else can you tell us about the differences in our, yeah. in our track frames? Well, we made some very good improvements uh, with our track system. That means the customer, first of all, can choose between two meter wide track, then you have a transport weight of 60 tons, and or to reduce the ground pressure, we can choose 2.4 meters and then the weight will be 65 tons. Right. So if that is still too heavy for some countries because we are having a transport optimized, we can remove the tracks and then we only have the side frame what is 30.9 tons weight. Great. Anything else different on, on the machine? Uh, we also have here uh, those brackets for the frog legs for self-erecting if you build long boom systems. And we also have the brackets here for the central ballast. Oh, so we can, we can add counterweight to the... Absolutely. For, for the when, long boom combination. Yes, that means when we need the 800 tons for erecting, then later after we erect it, we can take 120 tons off and put them on the tracks to increase the stability of the crane. Wonderful. Here we are again by the, the Superlift counterweight. Can you tell me, I know we have multiple ways of moving this counterweight. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Absolutely, Alan. Uh, as you see here, we have uh, our famous uh, split tray, what is also our invention. We have the, the big tray with the maximum superlift counterweight, 540 tons. We can extend it to 800 tons with two additional frames. We have the little tray, the split tray. That means after you erecting the crane, you don't need an auxiliary crane to take all the counterweights off. That means we just remove those pins and then we're using the little tray just that for easy. working. That's easy. So Sanka, I know, I know that we have different ways of moving the counterweights, right? Can you tell us the options we have for this crane? Oh yes, there's, there, there's three options, Alan. That means uh, option number one will be our flex frame. Yeah. Uh, what you can extend the superlift counterweight to 30 meters and you leave the superlift mast at one angle. Okay. Then option number two, there's a telescope cylinder. You also can push the superlift counterweight out to the maximum of 30 meters. And what you see here, this is our superlift Vario winch. This winch is hydraulically driven and it's always pulling the superlift counterweight with five tons towards the crane 
for stability. For stability, when you're driving and swinging the crane, and when you move the superlift mast, that winch is always paying out and paying in automatically. And this is all controlled from the IC1 computer system. Great. I heard a lot about this, the, this catwalk system. That looks very nice, very handcrafted. What uh, can you tell me about this? Well, at, at Tedano, Sanka, as you know, it's Goanzini, safety first, right? So uh, an integral part of the machine, not just how much can it lift and how far can it lift, but we're looking at personnel safety. So you notice when we came up, there's, there's access ladders front and back of the machine, right? Everything's protected with handrails. Um, the bearing has been raised on the, on the car body so that we can have 360 degree work platform with the railings and still get our 360 degree swing. That is great. Now we talk about heights and safety. Uh, what about safety on the boom system? Well, when you're, when you're assembling the boom and you need to, to be on the boom top, you can see all of our boom inserts, all of our mast inserts have catwalks. And the catwalks have a, a patented safety system so that you have uh, basically a rail or it's a, it's a cable so out, uh, personnel can tie off at waist height and not at, at ankle height. So they're just safer when they're moving up and down the boom. So Alan, um, I heard a lot, of, a lot of great things about that boom booster system. What can you tell me about this? Well, the boom booster is one of the types of booms we have on the Shin Sanka. When we designed the crane, we wanted it to be as flexible as possible. It's a, it's a large crane, but there's a lot of types of work you can do with it. So we have our standard boom, right? We have strong boom, which uses heavier corded material um, than, our, than our basic. And then we have the boom booster boom. And with each one of those boom systems, we have the ability to put the LF, the fixed jib on it, and we can also put the luffing jib on it. So customers, depending on the work they're doing, the reach they need, the weights they have, can pick the boom system they need uh, to do that work. 43 boom systems for this machine. But this makes this, this makes this crane very diversible. Yeah, it is. It's a very wow. diverse crane. That's impressive. That means the boom system the, will stay, but the, the wall thickness getting thinner to the end. Yes. Yes, this so great. On, on the longest systems, you'll have uh, heavy, medium, and light boom booster, and then we'll have some standard boom, and then also some luffing jib inserts to get the longest combination that we need. This is great, but what about transportation? We have to transport this crane. Right, well, our, our, our main boom systems, all right, are three and a half meters wide, right? And then, but then you take a look at our boom booster, our boom booster is six meter wide. But to get, to get around having to transport six meter wide pieces, we have the ability to, to divide those into two pieces. They have sections that fold in, and when they're, they're set with each other, they're only three and a half meters wide. So still the widest transport of any of the components we have is just three and a half meters. And this is what you call transport optimized? Yes, exactly. This is great. 